Hey everyone, today's topic is that you don't always have to hide your pain. I know a lot of people get conditioned into this behavior of not opening up to others, and it's quite often caused from us opening up to people who turn out to be untrustworthy or judgmental, and rather than holding space for our pain, they choose to judge us, mock us, or even share what we say in confidence with other people who we don't want knowing it. So many of us get conditioned over time, usually from childhood, to not open up to others. And in this video, I want to talk to you about how I believe there is a right way of going about this. I don't think it's healthy to go through your entire life not trusting others and choosing to bottle up everything inside of you. That's only going to lead to your mental health suffering more and more over time. And it means that your relationships with others will suffer because you'll feel like you can't trust other people, which means you won't be open to the beauty that is created when you trust someone enough to be authentic with them, to be honest with them, and to fully share your vulnerability and your pain with them. So I think the right way of going about this is not shutting off, but instead learning as quickly as possible who you can trust. People who are good. This is, I feel like a broken record at this point if you've watched my videos for a while, but I truly believe you should treat good people differently than everyone else. Good people are usually the ones who you'll be able to trust with your vulnerability, with sharing your pain. If someone is a good person, odds are they'll be able to hold space for you if you open up to them. If someone is questionable, if you don't know if they're a good person for sure, that's where I'd say you probably want to err on the side of not opening up to them and not being fully vulnerable with them. At least not until you get some definitive proof that they're trustworthy. Because you just don't want to engage in prolonging your conditioning from your childhood of not being able to trust people because they can't handle your pain. They can't handle you sharing it with them. So until you know for sure that somebody can handle that, I really would err on the side of, yeah, just not opening up to them. I know this sounds kind of bad because usually I do take the stance of being authentic and honest almost 100% of the time, but I know most people aren't at a place where they can do that just yet because it takes a lot of work to get to a place where you truly don't care enough what other people think of you to be 100% vulnerable and authentic almost all the time. You have to spend a lot of time working on yourself to get to that place. So for most people, I would say you probably should treat this almost like, not quite a game, that's the wrong word, but something similar to that, where you just, you let, how do I phrase it? You, you stand back and watch people and learn over time whether or not they're trustworthy. And if they are, then you'll know that you can open up to them. But if you have any hesitation, any doubt whether or not they're trustworthy, I would probably say that's not a good sign. That usually means they probably aren't the most trustworthy person because it shouldn't be that difficult to know. I mean, a lot of people comment in my videos that they can tell that I would be someone they could feel comfortable opening up with. Think about all the reasons why that is and now try to find those reasons in other people or those qualities that they may have that would make you feel comfortable opening up to them and trusting them. And if you struggle to find them, just know this probably isn't someone you're going to be able to open up with. So I think everyone's goal should be to find people like this and to surround yourself with them because it's not helpful to have friends and even family members or even especially significant others in your life that you can't open up with. I've often thought I would rather be single than be with someone that I feel like I can't be on honest and authentic with them. If I was dating a woman and she judged me at all for my vulnerabilities, for my pain, for being real with her, I would probably think, okay, this is a woman that I can only have fun with, nothing beyond that, because she is not relationship material. Because if she can't hold space for me, why would I want to get in a relationship with her? What would be the point of it? It would be pain and struggle and for what? Like, I don't need to put myself through that. I'm not a masochist. <laughs> I put in enough self-work now that I don't feel any need to take the masochistic route of purposely putting yourself in in pain and in struggles way so that you can grow from it. I just don't see any value in that. So I'm not going to go that route. And 
I think that's helpful for many other people as well. Just don't even get into relationships. Don't surround yourself with friends that you feel you can't be completely vulnerable and honest with. It just isn't worth it. So that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about because I truly don't believe any of us need to hide our pain. The real problem is who we choose to surround ourselves with. And many people, unfortunately, surround themselves with the wrong people. And because of that, that's why they hide their pain. But if you start surrounding yourself with good people, people who can hold space for you, people who are trustworthy, honest, and authentic, you'll find quite quickly that you'll be able to open up with them. You'll be able to share your pain and vulnerability, and they won't punish you for it. In fact, it'll be quite the opposite. You'll have the reward of having an incredibly beautiful, visceral relationship with someone who is actually an enlightened being, I guess. I don't know, that sounds really pretentious, but I couldn't think of a better word than that, you know, someone who works on themselves, who is a good person, enlightened being. Oh man, that's so funny. That's funny that came to mind. It both works, but also it's not kind of the way I normally speak, but <laughs> I wax poetic a little bit too much. But yeah, you guys hopefully get what I'm driving at here. So that's pretty much all I wanted to share with you. I truly hope you found value in this video. And if you like content like this, be sure to subscribe for more. Otherwise, the easiest way you can help me out is just to throw a like for the algorithm and a comment on the video. And let's see, for today's comment, I want you to share me, share with me what, hmm, how do I put it? I've, I've got so many questions surrounding this subject that I could ask, but I, I want to go with one so it's not too much. Tell me if you've experienced a relationship, more so a friendship, should I say, with someone where you truly felt comfortable being honest, authentic, and vulnerable with them, sharing your pain with them, and what that was like, how that made you feel. Because I truly believe it's like one of the most beautiful things out there. Of course, the height of that beauty is when it's with your significant other, because there's nothing quite like that, but it's still incredibly beautiful to have friends in your life who you feel that way with as well. So yeah, let me know your um, experiences in the comment section below. I'd love to read them. But yeah, that's all I have for you. I truly hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Arrivederci!